Floating 2D Mirror. Item number, SCP-390. Object class, safe. Special Containment Procedures SCP-390 requires almost no special containment procedures, but, because of safety concerns, must be kept in its own room. Scientists intending to perform tests on SCP-390 must receive permission from the current relative supervisor first. Description SCP-390 appears, at first, to be a floating mirror. It has a refractive index equal to ordinary glass, and shows no distortion of image when observed. Curiously, no matter the angle from which it is observed, it appears to face the observer. This effect also occurs when it is being observed by two or more witnesses at once, and any camera equipment observing SCP-390 has the same result. It has therefore been theorized that SCP-390 is in fact a two-dimensional object, incapable of being read as having width. This is how it manages to follow any observer's eyes around the room. Those who come into contact with SCP-390 should be alerted that grabbing what appear to be the object's sides will cause them to receive acute lacerations on their hands, fine enough that they go typically unnoticed until a great degree of internal bleeding has occurred. When agent attempted to touch the sides, while it was blank, also being observed by agent blank, it resulted in data expunged. Addendum. Please stop using it as a vanity mirror, staff. I know the washrooms can get busy, but this is no excuse for female personnel to apply makeup using SCP-390. Dr. Klein.